Oh, where to start? Dara, it is the uh, Wednesday, the 11th of October, and it's a dramatic 23.05. That's five past 11 in the evening. <laughs> There's only one person in the room here that is in any way calm, and it is definitely not me. I think it has to be this is no open. Okay, okay. So um, this is just um, a grumble video, really, about the fact that it is 23.06 now in the evening, and I still have not got to my goodies. Alexa, turn on face. Come on, Alexa, don't let me down. Alexa. Sorry, I didn't find a vehicle device named Lance. Alexa, turn on face. Thank you. Even the A lady is uh, misbehaving. Yes, so to cut to the chase, I have in front of me the goodies, the goodies that I've been waiting for have arrived. A mystery box. And let me tease a little bit more. A screen protector and a, and a case, both from Spygen, because I thought no expense would be spared. What could be inside this box? Ah, I have literally not had time to open my goodies that I have worked hard to afford, and why? And I'm going to just document the frustrations I've had today. And and to all that don't know, as you as you as the people who do know know, um, I have uh, no longer a regular source of employment nor income. Uh, and instead, I'm um, doing a, a number of charitable uh, deeds in the UK. And the first charitable deed is to recycle equipment from people. And today I found out that when you get an old iPad, not, not available, it's in the cupboard somewhere, it doesn't actually work if it's really old. And on the screen you see an error message, which is along the lines of, your Apple ID can't actually be used because the device that you've got, an iPad, is so old it only supports iOS version 10. Uh, the lady that passed it on to me for recycling um, said something about that, oh that can't be true, but in fact it is very true. And not only can um, it not be used for anything at all decent, I can't even log on to it. Because my Apple ID, I don't know why, can only be used for modern uh, computer systems, Apple computer systems now. So I've had to spuriously create a second random Apple ID just so I can log on to this old iPad and do something with it. But it continues. I've been looking at our VPN and we need our VPN because we need access to computers in our home location of the UK, no matter where we are in the country or within the world. And uh, VPN, virtual private network, means to say that you can have your computer outside of the home and via some magic, this, which is based on cryptography, uh, you can join the network of your home. So you run a program on your, on your PC or your Mac or your phone and when you connect to your home, maybe don't get bored, right, clockwise, um, you then join your home network. And no matter what I do under this gloriously svelte and beautifully thin Apple laptop, you know what I've been doing for a long, long time, nothing would actually work. Uh, and you can imagine that uh, when you join from your remote PC or remote computer to your home, uh, you shouldn't just be able to, allow to get in straight away. So you you should have what's called a boundary firewall. And in that boundary firewall, it says incoming packets to this home. Is it safe? Is it, is it going on a specific port? Uh, and if it is going on a specific port, I need to send that to the VPN server for processing. Because in our house, we have, as many people know, we have over 100 computers, all doing very important jobs. And we have to send the VPN packets to the VPN server. So nothing I would possibly do would actually work. And eventually, 
I tested it out on my lovely uber reliable Windows laptop and guess what it works. So it's a bug under the Open Connect software for Mac OS. That is the problem. So I now have the unenviable um, situation where if I want to do some traveling, I'm going to have to take this rather large and heavy laptop with me just so I can get into the home network securely. What an absolute faff. Um, I was going to do some rotor planning today with some um, uh, a, a, um, a charge organization I'm working with. But the person I was going to do the rotor planning with got COVID. Uh, and so we sort of decided, is it a good idea that I come round and help with the uh, rotor planning or not? And the answer is not. So I've had to do all the rotor planning all by myself and try and figure out what should be done in, in the various spreadsheets. And, uh, I, you know, that's, that's one of the things I've been doing until, like I say, just about 11 o'clock this evening. Uh, <clears throat> I did another bit of charity work today. And uh, as a result of that, we always get photographs of our session. Uh, of the carers and the cared for, and uh, that all needs filing because there's one day when we might need the media for social media purposes or to reflect on what we've done. All of those photographs need filing, and so that has to be done in a special Google ID. That takes time. Uh, before I did all of that, I got home and the uh, the council had sent me a kind of mildly, well, let's just edit that, mildly threatening letter. So earlier this year, I left the UK, uh, and as a, as a consequence, I'm entitled to not pay council tax at this address. So I deregistered for council tax, uh, and then uh, in the UK, depending on where you are, you can get a discount on the remaining council tax that needs to be paid. So I applied for that, got that, left, uh, and then came back. And when I came back, I filled it. I, I called them and I said, I am back. And they said, oh, well, uh, we should have been giving you a discount for the time that you're away, but we can't really be bothered to do that. So what we'll do instead is we'll reinstate your earlier account. And I said, because I'm a mug and a nice person, I said, OK, then. So uh, I said, OK, which means I said that the discount that I would have, would have achieved for the intervening period was not going to be given to me. And I thought, okay, well, I can't be bothered to argue with you, so put it back to how it was. So they did put it back to how it was, except that they forgot to reinstate the direct debit to my bank account. And so because I haven't paid the council tax for a couple of months, they've now sent me a threatening letter, uh, threatening legal action against me, because they've forgotten to reinstall the direct debit. So I've been onto the, onto the council, I've got to pay a certain amount by a certain amount of time, I've given them the details for the direct debit, which apparently they've lost, and uh, I still don't get the, any rebate for the time that I was away. Marvellous. Uh, I did a teaching class today, and in the teaching class, uh, often people who are not very computer skilled give me information, and we change things like user IDs and passwords, and it has been known on many occasions for those users who never write their users and passwords down to lose them. And so at future times, they're going to come back and say, oh, I remember that we changed the user ID and password, and what do we change it to? And unless I write it all down, they're going to be cross with me. So I had to write up what was done in the session and write down all the names and users and passwords that I was changed. Now that took a while. And lastly, we are thinking of travelling, and um, so I had to look at the virtual various uh, household security systems that we have, which I shall not go into in public, obviously. Uh, but we have various security systems in the home, and I need to make sure they are all operating, because if we do go away in the future, we need them to be working. Especially, as I documented recently, there have been local thefts in the area, and we need to make sure everything is working just fine. So now where are we? It is 11.15pm. I still have not opened the packages. <laughs> I've been desperate to open. Here they are again. What could possibly be, what could possibly be these screen protectors be for? What could it be for? What could this cardboard box, what could lie inside this cardboard box? Well, we're about to find out. I should keep you all posted and keep watching the channel to find out what I have bought and how great it is or otherwise.
Thank you for watching. Ciao.